Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for November 3rd, 2013. It's currently 8.17 a.m. I hope everyone enjoyed the fall back in the clocks. Uh, temperatures this morning are a chilly lower to mid 40s over the New York City metropolitan area and mid to upper 40s over the Philadelphia metropolitan area with a brisk wind from the north and northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. A cold front has moved through the region and much colder air is on the way. Eventually we'll be clearing out by this afternoon with scattered cloud cover with temperatures only in the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior and lower to mid 50s along the coast. It's going to feel cooler though because the northerly winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour will make it feel like the mid 40s. So it's going to be rather chilly out there this afternoon. On the pressure map you can see that cold front is now off the coast. High pressure starting to build in. Now you see how these lines are packed in like this? That means that we have a strong pressure gradient and that's why it's windy this morning. Once this pressure gradient starts to weaken, we'll start to have winds back off to the northwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour by this evening. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see that cold front is exiting to the south. We still have some low clouds lingering here over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. They're expected to break up as this high pressure system takes control. And then high pressure will be in control through much of this week up until about Thursday afternoon when a strong cold front moves through the region. On the radar, again, really not much in a way of precipitation out there. It could be an isolated shower or two with the passage of the cold front. But that's about it. On our latest forecast map from the Penn State UWAL website using the European model guidance, high pressure again will take control through this afternoon. Temperatures aren't going to be moving all that much, basically in the lower to mid 50s along the coast. For tomorrow, it's going to be rather chilly out there, the coldest day of the seven day period. We'll have low temperatures in the mid to upper 20s over the northern interior and upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast. So it's going to be rather cold tomorrow morning. High temperatures in the mid to upper 40s throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. By the time we get to Tuesday though, we'll be warming up just a bit. We're going to be moving from 10 degrees below normal to 5 degrees below normal. We can expect scattered cloud cover with high pressure and complete control. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s for lows and high temperatures in the lower to mid 50s throughout the region. On Wednesday, we warm up a little bit more with high pressure off the coast and a southwesterly wind taking control. Our temperatures return to pretty much near normal levels with lower to mid 40s for lows along the coast, uh, upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior. And for high temperatures, look for upper 50s to lower 60s throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Thursday gets very interesting. The cold front will be moving through the region. Expect showers, possibly even a few isolated thunderstorms on Thursday afternoon. Ahead of the cold front, temperatures will warm up very nicely in the mid to upper 60s. However, I think this is going to be more of a very warm morning followed by a very chilly afternoon as temperatures crash through the 50s and into the 40s. So the timing of this cold front is going to be really key here. I wouldn't be surprised to see morning high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and then our temperatures gradually fall off through the afternoon into the 50s and eventually into the 40s by the evening hours. Friday and Saturday will feature high pressure and complete control with scattered cloud cover and temperatures averaging slightly below normal. Look for upper 30s to lower 40s for lows and lower to mid 50s for highs. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook and Google+. And let's not forget LinkedIn as well. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe out there.